So I was listening to an interview with Rob Henderson and Jordan Peterson, uh, where Jordan made a point that with academics, we actually, in exchange for them becoming super hyper specialized at this one thing, we give them a, a garden around which we take care of everything else. Um, so that way they're able to double down and focus on the research. If you think about it, like super extreme hyper specialization requires that you forsake a lot of other parts of, of life and, and the sort of jack of all trades experience. And I, I actually agree with that being a good um, thing or a, a good trade off. If you look at what the value of an academic or a scientist is in the lens of a university institution, it's impact factor, journal citations, and publication rate. That is not a good metric for real world success. And so we're conflating this success in an academic bubble to be legitimate real world success when in reality it, that couldn't be farther from the truth. So the question is, how do we create a similar type of environment where we kind of abstract away all of the other crap that life brings to the table that would prevent someone from being hyper-specialized, but allow them to do it in a way, kind of like in a, in a university or an academic institution, where they can get really, really narrow and double and triple down to create asymmetric upside for society, for technology, uh, et cetera, in a way that aligns them with a greater uh, local maxima of impact. And I think Silicon Valley has actually started to touch on that, where traditionally uh, universities or acad academic hubs were the only place you would go to to actually have a, like a, an area in which you could specialize. But now that startups have come up, we're actually able to put teams around a specialized, let's say, effort or insight. And that thesis, that insight, is generally what the company gets built around. So the thesis for Tesla was that electric cars are desirable in demand or will be in demand and better for the planet. In the same way that someone's uh, thesis might revolve around searching for biological mechanisms for things like addiction, right? Very academic thesis. Um, so I think now more than ever, we're actually creating or there's, there's a, uh, an opportunity to exit the traditional academic structure and you can instead create an environment around you through a startup where the impact is more uh, economic activity. And what's cool is um, we're seeing that that is able to be done at the cutting edge of research more and more. If you look at biotechnology, simply having a really good patent or IP portfolio or strategy is enough to get your company acquired by a bigger pharma. So in theory, if you're able to uh, be a really talented biotechnologist, you could actually have um, your ideas, your concepts, be consumed or purchased by a larger entity who will then bring it through the product development cycle and actually have it in the lives of consumers, of patients, netting you a larger impact on society and an economic benefit in the process than if you were to stay within the academic walled gardens. And so now, like this is this is a dynamic that we haven't seen in the past. Like, like this is only a relatively new um, phenomenon where academics are able to leave or scientists, engineers, researchers are able to leave the gardens in which enable their specializations at the cost of focusing on uh, academic pursuits or academic merits like publications, uh, impact factor, etc. for real world capital generating true impact generating adventures and those adventures are companies and we have adventure or venture capitalists funding them so i see a an exit of the really hard working impact desiring people who want to specialize towards startups because now the startup ecosystem has shown us that we can actually generate a nice bubble a good environment uh, a, a cradle, a fertile soil for these folks to double down on their specialization and generate outsized impact. So for those of you who are considering, do I have to go to university? The answer might be no. If you're ambitious enough, 
no. You can go build a startup instead. So if you're on the fence and you feel like academia is not able to give you just the right resources, it might be in the startup ecosystem that you find what you're looking for.